Hey guys, good morning. It is about 10 o'clock on Wednesday morning and I've already done my morning routine, had some breakfast, gotten some exercise, got cleaned up. Um, so I'm about to get started on some of the work that I have for today. Um, I've been getting more questions about my schedule and what a typical day as a freelance illustrator is like and since I don't really have a typical day, each day is sort of different depending on the projects that are going on that week. Uh, I thought it, the best thing to do would just be to film a few more of these videos to give a sense for the kind of day that um, the different kinds of days that I might have. Today I have a few different things going on. I'm uh, gonna try to finish off or see if it's possible to finish off a, a painting that I've been working on that's a personal piece, um, just like an exercise type thing. Um, and then I have uh, some Etsy orders and some different prints to prep and pack and um, what else, some like random computer stuff, emails, and then I'm getting started on uh, a new project, a new client project today. So I have some kind of admin and prep and groundwork to get done for that. Uh, and then some invoicing. Yeah, a whole random smattering of things, but I thought it would be good to um, to show that because that is what it's like to be a freelance illustrator. So uh, first things first, I have a painting uh, sitting under some weights that I've been flattening out over the past couple of days and I need to take it out. Now that it's all flattened out, I am going to try to see what else I need to do to finish it off. Oh man. Uh, sometimes when it's all warped and bumpy, I, I have a hard time seeing how close it is to being done. So I'm going to take a closer look at that, um, at this, and then we'll see what else I need to do and maybe I will be able to finish it today, which would be great because I've been working on it for a while. Uh, yeah. It looks like the painting is done. I'm gonna let it sit for a day or two and then maybe come back to it. I'm gonna do some sketching, but before I do that, I thought I was, would maybe um, show you guys, not a full studio tour, but that I would do, show you some of the materials that I used for this particular piece. So um, this piece, um, the base layer was done um, in just this watercolor set, which this is just a uh, Koi uh, watercolors by Sakura and they're a really affordable, nice carrying case, nice and small and compact. Um, yeah, I've been using these for a little while and I like them quite a lot. I think I probably will upgrade at some point, but for now, since I use them in combination with other media, uh, some of the shortcomings that uh, go along with them being a more affordable set, I don't notice them as much because I am incorporating other media. The next layer are these Prismacolor water soluble color pencils. You can see how I use these in pretty much all of my uh, time lapse videos since they almost always are incorporated at some point. And then um, a lot of the detail and the main layers of the piece were done with the Prismacolor soft core pencils and then some of the Vera Thins, but mostly the soft core pencils. And then I blended them out with Gamsol, which lets me get more of a glaze-like effect. Um, and there are tons of different ways that you can layer and blend. I have a whole video on it that I will link to. Uh, but for the most part with this one, I just did the Gamsol blending method. What I used for the background, to dig around here, were, was, excuse me, was a mix of these water-soluble wax pastels. Actually, pretty much only the white ones. I just would, like, put down a layer of the white and then add on top to get some color, but, like, a softer color, these soft pastels. And I have had this set for a long time and it was one of those situations where like I never was using it. But um, just recently as I've been kind of trying to experiment more with different techniques and trying to find a way to do background that I like, um, I started using these soft 
pastels and I really like them. And blending them in with the uh, wax, water soluble wax pastels is really nice because it means I don't have to use a fixative and I hate how fixatives look. So um, yeah, that's been cool. Yay! I also used these, some of these markers I used, oh man, I can't remember. I think I just used the Copics. Um, just some for shadow and a few intense areas of color. The last thing I used were these Sharpie paint markers, paint pens, excuse me. And it's just a water soluble ink and they're nice because you can even just like blend them with your fingers and you don't have to worry. At least I don't think you have to worry about them being toxic, but um, yeah, they're really easy to work with. I have several of the white ones and then a black one as well, um, all of which I use in this piece. Okay, so that's it for the materials that I used for this piece. <clears throat> Let me know, leave a comment if you would be interested in seeing a full studio tour because I could totally do that at some point as well and go over just all of the things that are in here. Let me know if that's something that you're interested in. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to um, print out some Etsy orders and I also have a couple um, thank you cards that I need to send to art directors and it's a bit late but things got kind of crazy uh, towards the end of December with the holidays and everything so I do want to make sure to get those in the mail though so I'm gonna do some printing and signing and packaging um, and then I'll probably take a break for lunch. So while those are going, I want to also take a minute to just say thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Um, this channel is still uh, really new, and so I'm kind of amazed that we've gotten uh, up to now we'll probably be over 500 by the time this posts. Uh, feels really fast, and I um, really appreciate it. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you for watching, and thank you for all of the nice comments you guys have been leaving. Uh, it's been really encouraging. Uh, as I mentioned, this has been kind of a challenging thing for me to do, and it was something I wanted to try um, to push myself on. So I appreciate all of the encouragement and the positive feedback, and I'm like so thrilled to hear from you guys when you find something helpful or um, yeah, or you learn something. I just that that makes it totally worthwhile. And um, yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, hello, um, in case you don't know me, my name is Kendall. Um, that might be obvious by the name of the channel, Kendall Hilligus, but um, uh, yes, that is me. I'm a full-time freelance illustrator. I am pretty new here to YouTube, but I've been around um, on Tumblr and on Instagram for a while, and I focus on um, mainly food illustration, but I also do botanical illustration and some wildlife, and um, I paint people sometimes too. Um, yeah, so that's me. I live in Boston. Did I say that already? Um, yes. And the prints are done printing now, so I'm going to go ahead and finish prepping those and uh, then let them dry a bit and then get them packed up and ready to go. Okay, so I have just finished up with packing the Etsy orders, and um, it's lunchtime, so I'm going to take a break and get some food, and then maybe go for a walk, and then I will come back and do um, more of the computer and admin stuff I have to do. I have to um, send an invoice, a couple invoices, and then I have to do some of the kind of groundwork, um, like making a contract for uh, a project that I am starting on starting on today um, and then depending on timing and everything I may actually also start on them yeah, I cannot talk right now depending on the timing I may actually start in on that project um, and then what else do I have to do I feel like I have another well there's some other like tasky type thing that I have this afternoon so uh, it will probably just be a lot of stuff on the computer and then I'll be going to yoga this evening which I doubt I will film because it just doesn't seem like the kind of place for 
it would be cool to bring a camera in. I don't know. So uh, that's what's going on. I will see you after I get lunch. So I am back and um, while uh, I was at lunch, I was saying to Eric um, how, well, we've had like a backlog of stamps for a really long time, just tons and tons of stamps because I like stamps and then I also, like, whenever I bring an order to the post office, they're already all prepaid and they always ask like, oh, do you need anything else? Can do you need some stamps today? And I don't know, I like, I just feel, <laughs> I feel bad or I feel like I should buy stamps so I have had this bad habit over the years of just like stockpiling stamps and we have a lot of stamps and today I went to mail the thank you cards um, and the thank you prints that I mentioned earlier the ones going to the art directors and I noticed that like for the first time we're actually down to like only one sheet of stamps and I can't believe it. It's like fun. The time has finally come that we can buy more stamps. <laughs> so um, I mentioned that to Eric and he was going to the post office. So he was nice enough to get me these Lunar New Year stamps <laughs> from, um, from 2013. And I really like them. They're really cool. Uh, and I figure since I'm going to talk about how much I like stamps, I might as well just dive right into the nerd deep end and tell you guys that as uh, part of the reason I like stamps is because I collected them as a child um, and I've got my little book here of how they were organized how I organized them as a child and it's quite a mess as you can see but I just love all of the different colors and the um, I even like the effect that the stamp thing whatever that would be called like the post office puts on it I think that looks really cool um, they're just like little mini pictures. I don't know. They're so cute and I love them. And actually just today I was thinking I should reorganize these and maybe try to get back into collecting stamps again. I may start doing that. Um, um yes. Also, I scanned in the Apple, uh, the Apple illustration and I am going to process that and get it ready to post. Um, the apple painting rather it's one of the paintings in an illustration um and then what else do i have to do this afternoon what does my list tell me do you guys keep to-do lists i i find i mean i don't i used to get really detailed with like really far out dates and projects and things and now i just kind of try to have general things blocked off in my calendar and then each week i add more specific things to the to-do list um, so I have to send an invoice to Uncommon Goods um, and I have to put together a contract for uh, a new client project that I'm starting. This actually is going to be more design related than illustration. It's just going to be a, um, a flyer, something they're going to use for print for advertising an event. And I don't do a ton of that kind of stuff, but I still, I still do keep up some of that business just because as a freelancer, it's nice to have, I've mentioned this before, but it's really nice to have diverse streams of income. So, you know, I'm not like I have Etsy and I have Uncommon Goods and I have um, obviously like commercial and freelance illustration. And then also just being able to do some design work on the side helps fill things out. And uh, yeah, so I'll be working on that as well. So I'm going to try to finish as much of this uh, little busy work stuff as I can. And then I will be going to yoga. Okay, so it's about five o'clock, um, just a little bit before, and I finished up all of my busy work, afternoon admin stuff, and I'm going to head to yoga, um, and then I think this is probably going to be the end of this video, just because after I get back, I'll just be cleaning up and making dinner and going to bed, because that's the kind of exciting life that uh, I lead. So I will go ahead and stop it here then and say goodbye. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, give me a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you're interested in something like a, um, a full studio tour or uh, if you have something else that you'd particularly like to see a video on. Uh, yeah, all right, that's it. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye.